Hi guys, welcome back to the Laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn that uh, basics of the APIs. So these are some points that we are going to cover this video. So first of all, we will learn some theoretical part about the API, then we will make a controller and we need um, make to write router for it. And after that, uh, we will config the database with the project. Uh, we need to make a model, write some code and after that API is ready and we will test it with the postman and in this video we are going to make a get API okay so as end of this video too familiar to you with the API that what is that and how it's work and how we can basically make it all right so first question is what is the API so API is the application programming interface all right so you can uh, this is the interface of the two programming language server to the a client or one technology to another technology the same API can be used inside the mobile as well as the web all right so uh, the APIs are the uh, technology independent Java APIs can be consumed in the PHP and PHP API can be consumed in the JavaScript or uh, API uh, node in Express and uh, Python anywhere these are the platform independent also right so now let's start with the code so first of all let's make a controller so for that I'm just going to open the command prompt and here I'm going to write here PHP artisan make users because uh, the API is about the users information users oh, so let's I have to write a controller and just hit the enter now you can see that we got a controller and here we got that uh, for that you have to go inside the API HTTP and here just refresh it and you can see that controller all right so here let's make a function like uh, list because we are just showing the list of users in the API all right so for now uh, controller is ready let's make a router for it and for making the router we have to go inside the um, route folder just click on the api.php here you have to write here route and this is a test uh, get api so that just put here get and this is the router so let's put here users or whatever you want to show in the routing and the second parameter is users at the rate list all right so here we can also show make the list it will uh, more nice okay so this one is also ready so after that what is the next step so for the uh, now we have to configure the database so first of all I'm just opening my PHP my admin and here you can see that I have already have a database with the YouTube and a table with the users all right so uh, let's open the env file so that we can make the database configuration just open it and just write here password in my case the password is red hat at the rate one two three in your case it can be different or can be blank youtube is the database name i think yeah this is fine okay so host is local host and the username is the root this is also done now we have to make a model uh, our database table name is users then our model name should be user right so just write here php artisan make model user and just hit the enter now you can see that we have an uh, model inside directly in the http right so just i'm just going to open here now you can see that this is the model okay so this is also done now uh, this model will be automatically connect the users table right so now let's the next step so now we have to write some code so for write some code we have to go inside the controller and just use here a uh, user model so just write here app and user all right and inside this list just return here app and all okay so this is api is not authenticated with the password and the tokens so that we can directly open it on the uh browser also so just write here 
this and just put here list but on that url it will not going to be open and you can see that this is in 404 why the reason is because we put the router inside the api so we must have to put here api first okay so mm -mm -mm. let me check what's the issue uh, yeah actually i got it inside the users table i have to just write here users because this is our model name not app okay so just uh, choose this one and it should work now uh, mm -mm. okay so because we just set up the env file then we have to just restart the server for that just restart it once and now let's try now you can see that we got the data here and for check on the postman just open the postman uh, I just installed the chrome extension for the postman and we will just testing this API inside here okay so just select the just open the new one from here just select the get from here and just put the URL okay and now you can see that we got the URL here result is to status is 200 and this is the time and uh, if you if this API would be post then you have to use here post but now this is a guest API get API then it will work like this all right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel in the next video we are going to set up the authenticated API like with the passport or the JWT token. So thanks for watching this video.